We've had, to, we've had to stop that. So to fill in my place, uh, a, a young man, and he is young, awfully handsome too, and he's living in Australia at the moment, which accounts for a lot of things. He's going to come out and entertain you with his own stuff, if you'll excuse the expression. Please, a great big Australian welcome. Good day to Mark Strickson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'll make myself come. Ah, with uh, yes. <laughs> in um, in seventeen eighty five, Prince Rupert's mercenaries crushed Oliver Cromwell's left flank at the Battle of Naseby. In 1870, the Franco-Prussian War took a rather nasty turn of events at the Siege of Rouen. This has absolutely nothing to do with my act tonight, but it just proves how your mind can wander when you're worried. Um, it's, uh, it's, 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 I don't know why I'm worried. I, last time I did uh, Cabaret in Chicago, it, it was a great success. Mind you, no, not, not, not all the acts were, were very good. The, um, the lady before me was so bad, they were still booing her when I was on. It's terrible, it's terrible. But it, it, it's lovely being here with you. You're so nice to us. I had a, a, a lovely letter put under my door this afternoon. It brought tears to my eyes. It was written on an onion. <laughs> One of the questions people have asked me is, um, why did I go to Australia in the first place? Well. The real reason was I was married at the time, and um, we went to see my wife's mother. Uh, she lived in England, but she looked a hell of a lot better from Australia. <laughs> but, uh, pe people have also asked me how, how my career's been going in Australia. Well, if you're a success in show business, you get a dressing room near the stage. Um, if, you, if you're not doing quite so well, you get one on the first floor. Well, I've just done a series of appearances in Newcastle, which is a big city, 180 kilometers north of Sydney. How can I put it? My, my dressing room had falcon droppings on the floor, <laughs> and, and the mice were having blackouts. So it, it hasn't really been going terribly well for me. Uh, at one point, I, in fact, had to sell furniture. Um, and the problem was it was my own furniture. <laughs> And, and, then, and then we had to move house, um, had to, you know, sell the house where we were and, and move to a different neighbourhood, and, and it wasn't quite such a good neighbourhood. I was um, driving home the other night, and uh, I got a puncture in, in my car, so I, I pulled over to the side, I got the jack out and got the wheel off, and at this point, another car pulled up, and, and the guy leapt out, and he, he opened my bonnet. And I said, you know, what the hell are you doing? So he said, well... If you're having the tars, I'm having the battery. Uh, <laughs> actually, I, um, I, I don't do this for a living anymore. Um, I... I <laughs> <laughs> you notice. <laughs> I, I just do it for the luxuries in life. Um, you know, bread and, and shoes. And, uh. Now, before any of you slip any deeper into the coma you're rapidly heading towards. I, sh I shall play the guitar for you. Um, I, uh... I've got to be a contortionist to play with these microphones. Uh, <clears throat> is that, is that, is that going to come out? Are we getting anything on this mic, here? Yeah? <clears throat> yeah? Right, and I'll play the guitar, what shall I do now? Uh, <laughs> no, um, <clears throat> I'd, I'd like to play a song that um, Bach wrote uh, just before he died. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, he died then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was just an excuse for me to show that I can't play classical guitar. Um, I've lost my plectrum at the moment. I'm, I'm not trying to excite myself in your room. <clears throat> That should be it. Ah! Yeah. <clears throat> Now, I, I'm now going to sing you a song called Waltzing Matilda, you see. Now I'm a true blue Aussie. And um, <clears throat> uh, it's an extraordinary song, really. Um, I don't know if any of you know the words, but only Australia could have a national song like Waltzing Matilda. <laughs> it's, um, uh, it's all about this swagman who's a tramp, right? Down by this billabong, which is, which is a pond, right? And... Um, He's not got much to do, so he's boiling his billy, which is not a goat, it's a little tin thing that you boil up your tea in. And um, at this point he says, um, who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me? Now, a Matilda, when you go on the road in Australia, when they used to go on the road, is a big bag you carry on your hip. And it was called a waltzing Matilda because as they wandered around looking for work, this sack would bang against their hip. And uh, it was called, you know, it looked as if they were waltzing. I mean doesn't really mean much to me, that. It seems to be a stretch of the imagination, but obviously they hadn't got much to look at in Australia at the time. So, anyway. So, anyway, he's sitting by this billabong, and down comes this sheep, right? A jumbuck, right? And he thinks, aha, I will get the sheep, I will put it in my bag, and then what does he say? He says, you will come a-waltzing Matilda with me. So, he, we have this tramp who likes dancing with sheep in bags at the moment. <laughs> that, that is the plot so far. And, and then, and then, oh, he's doing this deliberately to me, isn't he? Uh, and then, um, the local landowner comes down and he says, OK, you've got that sheep in your bag, you all come a-waltzing Matilda with me. So we have the local landowner who fancies tramps who like dancing with sheep <laughs> in bags. You, you listen to the song, this is the plot of the song. Now, the tramp is so worried by the homosexual advances of the local landowner <laughs> that he rather goes over the top and he commits suicide by throwing himself in the billabong. I mean, that is a bit of an excessive reaction. So we have basically a paranoid tramp who is petrified of homosexuals, like dancing with sheep in bags, and is suicidal. I mean, no. only the Australians could have a national song that that is the plot of. Yeah? Good thing Janet isn't here, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, so, <clears throat> I shall try and sing it for you. Uh, another thing about Australia is, Australia is um, lots of different countries. It's not one country. This is called the Queensland version of Waltzing Matilda. Um, until relatively recently in Queensland, it was against the law to have a public demonstration. And if there were more than four people in the street, um, that was considered a public demonstration. So, this is absolutely true, this. <laughs> the police would go around breaking up large families out shopping. And that is true, that is not a joke. That actually came to court in Queensland. A large Aboriginal family was taken to court for going shopping together. Absolutely ridiculous. So, I, I don't, I'm not quite happy here, but we'll have a go. <coughs> right. Is that picking up? That's better, that's better, right, right. <laughs> Oh, there once was a swagman down by a billabong Sitting under the shade of a coolibar tree And he sang as he sat and waited till his billy boiled Singing, who come a-waltzing Matilda with me Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, who come a waltzing Matilda with me? And he sang as he sat and waited till his billy boiled. Who come a waltzing Matilda with me? Down came a jumbuck to drink at the waterhole. Up jumped the swagman and grabbed him with glee And he sang as he stuffed that jumbuck in his tucker bag See, it's true. 
I wasn't making it up. <laughs> You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Down came the landlord riding on his thoroughbred. Down came the policeman. One, two, three. Whose is that jumbuck you've got in your tucker bag? You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Whose is that jumbuck you've got in your tucker bag? You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. But the swagman he upped and jumped into the billabong, drowning himself by the culebar tree. And his ghost may be heard as you pass by that billabong. Singing, who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me? Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me? Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda, who come a waltzing Matilda with me? Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, who come a waltzing Matilda with me?